Well, hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler once again from Manland. And today I'm playing the role of Greg over there at Ballistic Barbecue. You can find him here on YouTube as well. Uh, Brother Greg there gave me a great inspiration. You've already seen by the title of the video. You already, already know what it is. But keep in mind, I'm going to do this Manland style. And... This one's gonna have some cheese in it because I'm trying to get into the Cheese Club, sponsored by Cheesehead Chris. Y'all stick around. Let's try this thing out. Now before I get started, I want to show you the Stanley Prep, let's see, the Stanley Adventure Prep and Cook Set. These are the one, one of the green plastic bowls that come with it. Has a nice lid, nice bowl. And the way this thing's designed, to get the amps out the way, is uh, they got a little hole here that the labeling implements kind of stick out of. But there's enough there to sit there and actually cover up your food to keep the flies from getting into your food. You know what I'm saying? Before we get to making this specialty burger, I heard that this was actually a cutting board, the lid. We're gonna give that a shot, see how that turns out. And the first thing we're gonna do is chop up a yellow onion. Now what I wanna do is I wanna make, I don't wanna really want to puree this. I'm gonna have to do it left-handed so y'all can see what I'm doing. Tell you what, that's a nice little cutting board there thus far. Sure is itty bitty. I sharpened up the Aerocord USA neck knife. Boy, look at the ants all over the table. What did they get to that habanero? <laughs> See if they're that brave. And into the bowl it goes. Now the next thing we gotta prepare is of course the deadly habanero pepper. I don't have any fresh at the store where I work. And this is one of those jars that went way out of date. I've got two left in there. We're going to take one. And we're going to actually only chop up about half of it. This has been pickled. We're going to use just the base. Get some of the excess moisture off of it. And we're going to chop this one here up mighty, mighty fine as well. Mm-hmm. Little ant, you keep on crawling, you're going to get somewhere you don't want to be. Now these here habaneros has got some kick. I know. I done got down to almost an empty jar of this stuff right here. It's got a heat index of, woo wee, that's hot. And that goes in with the onions. Keep in mind, I'm making a concoction for only one burger. We've got some bacon. It's frozen, so this ought to be a true test. I'm going to go ahead and cut the bacon up kind of finely here. Even the flies are getting in on this. The reason why I'm doing it this way, I'm not doing it exactly the way Greg does over at Ballistic Barbecue. He kind of took his time to improvise a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not cooking on a grill. I'm doing this car camping style. Yeah, I think that's going to work mighty fine. Put that into the mixture. Set the lid on top. Grab myself a paper towel. And wipe off the excess goodness. Remember, bacon and grease is good for your outdoors knife. and a paper towel helps to plug the hole. Decided to move this down to the lower level so y'all can get a good idea. We've got a really, really low flame here. Remember, these pans, pots that we use for the outdoor cooking, this is the old Camp skillet. Uh, I won this from uh, Jen over at Full Circle Outdoors 414. We're gonna put our mixture of bacon, habanero, and onion in there. And we're just gonna saute that down real good 
and use my stainless steel cookie spatula that I love to use. Oh, she's a sizzling now. Now, one thing I'm doing is one thing I'm also trying to cook the moisture out of this because we've got something else going in here. This is going to be the cheese part. And this is where it comes in for cheese head Chris. The old Greg there from Ballistic Barbecue, he tried to do this without making too many mistakes, you know what I mean? Trying to be a professional editor and everything. And he was cooking these habaneros inside his house. Well, guess what? Greg, it happens to all of us, man, but you're not a professional like me. Never ever stick your pot over this thing right here and take a wolf. Especially this... <coughs> <coughs> okay, Greg. Evidently, I'm not a professional either. Jeez. <coughs> Man, I'm cook <coughs> cooking up some pepper spray. This recipe is definitely for the outside. Now that right there is pretty much how I like my, I like my bacon chewy. And we've got the onions caramelized, the habaneros have already, well, they heated up mighty good. That's why my nose is running. And uh, we got it draining there on that there paper towel. We got to come back to it in just a little bit, but for now, we're gonna place another lid from another bowl. I got two bowls out here. Well, that's right, two comes in the kit. And uh, let's get on to the main meat of the situation. All right, got this bowl here back out. And here we just have regular old ground beef. That's right, the stuff that's got all the fat in there, good and gooey. I'm making just one patty. And I know that this looks like a lot of ground beef, but it really ain't. Because you know the stuff likes to cook down a lot. But I like my hamburgers when they sit there and when you take a bite, all the juices run down your chin and into your shirt and oh man, that just makes a fine piece of eating. Now to this uh, ground beef, we're gonna add some of this ultimate giver sauce sent to me by, uh, by uh, Chris Collier. And this right here is listed off the charts. And we're gonna be careful because this is some hot, hot sauce. That's just one drop. The next thing we're going to add to it for a little bit of flavor and seasoning, I like to put Lipton onion soup mix in my hamburger meat. It just makes it taste wonderful. But in this instance, I'm going to put some taco seasoning in there. No, not the whole pack. Just enough to season the meat up and give this some taco kick. About that much there. Now, whew, you can smell that taco seasoning in. Oh yeah. Now I'm just gonna mix it here with a spatula right here in the bowl. I usually use my hands, but I don't have any water out here and the flies are about to drive me crazy. I think they like spice as well. Ooh, now that we got the pan back on the fire, we're gonna take that mixture of hamburger patty and we're gonna place it directly into the skidot. Oh yeah. Now I know when y'all thinking that's a monster burger and you would be very much correct. That is a monster burger. Let me adjust this heat down a little bit. Cause I want this one here to cook low and slow. Oh man, you can smell the tacos in there. Mercy. And I think I detect either some leftover habaneros or some of that there hot sauce. Oh, that golden goodness. Yes, sir. I think it's time to flip her. Yeah, yeah. Caramelized on the bottom, just like I expected it to be. And now for cheese head Chris. Trying to enter into the cheese club. We got some Mexican style cheddar pepper jack. And that's right. We're going to sprinkle a good little sprinkle on top of the beefy patty. Oh, yeah. We're gonna make it really, really cheesy. But wait, there's more. We're gonna cover this back up. Does that hurt do her steaming effect? Uh oh. Sounds like we're having engine problems. Houston, Houston. There we go. Huh, what no wind blowing on that? 
Ooh, now you talking about looking fine. Look at how that cheese just covered itself, making love to the burger underneath. It's actually time to pull that dude off. Now I want to show y'all how all that crust built up in the bottom of that there pan. I was going to show you a real simple thing to do to prevent that. But I'm going to say that for another video and refer you to this video so you can actually see the actual gook and content in these pans. But for now, we're going to add that concoction we had of the habanero, the bacon, and the onions. I should have done it that way so y'all can see it dip. Here we have some Gordo's cheese dip. This right here says it's the hot. It's not hot, y'all. It really ain't. And all we want to do now is just slightly warm this. Merge the cheese in with the mixture. Make it a good goopy sauce. And lightly mix this together as the cheese starts to melt. And I'm hovering above. <coughs> <coughs> and I had to get upwind of this concoction because I'm choking myself to death with them habaneros. Gray, gray. Man, this stuff here is a killer. It's murder. But one thing the cheese is doing is picking up all the flavors of the num nums in there. So it's not really a pure white cheese anymore. All that does right there is tells you one thing, a guarantee. This is going to be some mighty, mighty fine eating. All right, real quickly, let's put this puppy together. This right here happens to be some of the cobblestone. This is the onion buns that they produce. And this stuff right here is mighty fine. This is untoasted. There's the burger patty. She is still heat hot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Some of that there bacon and habanero cheese sauce. Let me try to do this so the camera can see. And we're going to drizzle that all over the top. It don't matter if it runs down the side. Like I said, the whole idea here is to make a mess. Look at her run. And now, a little lettuce. And a slice of beef steak tomato. And of course, to season it off with a little black pepper. Oh, yeah. I said a little bit, you know. Just a little bit. Put that back on top. Now remember, this of course is an untoasted bun. And now for the official taste test. Of course, we have our Miller Lite beer sitting side by side. We're going to give this right here a ramble about. Squeeze it down so I can get it into my mouth. Like I say, the battery on my camera's dying. It figures. Upside down to you, but right side up to me. Oh, screw bun. I can't edit the shot. Hey, this is not bad, not bad at all. It definitely got some heat, but it's a good heat. Make sure you check out, make sure you check out Greg over there at Ballistic Barbecue and the cheese head, Chris. I hope this video here is good enough to get me into the cheese club. Them bus drivers suck. Mm. Well, until next time, this is Average Artist Mark D. Chandler from Manland with kids showing up and, of course, flies. Y'all take them easy and take them care. Bye-bye now. Don't even need my beer. Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On this video, I will be making a burger that was created by Ken and Paul over at KBD Productions TV. I give you the habanero bacon cheeseburger. Let's get going.